What precautions is Recovery Unplugged not taken? Especially as it relates to recovery and addiction, is we have not only licensed clinicians, board certified psychologists, but also medical doctors who are going above and beyond just CDC guidelines. The bottom line is that the safety and health of our clients and staff is the top priority. When we go to pick up a new client, we're dressed in the full suit with the mask and the gloves just to prevent any spread of anything that our staff might have or that the clients might have coming in. We've actually made these awesome little masks here, um, custom rock and roll music themed masks. They are washable. We hand these out to clients and staff. Um, we wash them daily. We have no more than 10 people in a room at a time. We're abiding by the social distancing guidelines put forth by the CDC. Family members and things of the like are not able to come and visit at this time. We do, however, allow for FaceTime and you know video chat, and we're doing everything we can to ensure that all of the staff that come in the building are also abiding by social distancing guidelines when they are not at work. I would say the most important precautions that we have right now is just strictly the cleanliness. Constantly disinfecting everything. We are having our director of nursing go in multiple times during the week to educate clients about hand hygiene, infection control techniques. I've also asked the, the therapist to check in with the clients, um, not only in their first couple of sessions, but repetitively during their stay to answer any questions that they may have about the precautions we're taking as a company, any new information that we may have about the virus, and kind of how to deal with being in early recovery during these isolation times. Recovery Unplugged being open at this time I think is wonderful. You know, the disease of addiction doesn't stop because there's a pandemic. People are experiencing a lot of boredom because they're stuck inside and they still want to, you know, use or they relapse. Having Recovery Unplugged open and being deemed essential um, is very important to anybody looking to get help. I think right now is the best time to get clean. The world shut down. For me, that was, that was like the main thing. Like, oh, I have to pause my life, which is what I desperately needed and wanted, but that was hard to let go of. Right now, everybody's life is paused. It is the perfect time to take advantage of that pause. If you can get sober during this time in the world, then you are prepared for any challenge that recovery can throw, throw at you. So all of the normal services that the program provides have been virtualized. It's a way to keep safety in mind for the clients and the staff. It, it never skipped a beat. There wasn't any therapy sessions for myself that were on hold. Everything was basically business as normal, just via Zoom. The program is all about music and, and using music as medicine, and it's the perfect time to uh, keep people from feeling isolated by using the technology at our fingertips. The one thing that I think is really amazing that we're doing is the sober streams and the live alumni meeting that we have. I have been utilizing the other Recovery Unplugged services, like the uh, streaming meditation with Carl. I've tuned into their Facebook live videos with like the Ask a Therapist with Dr. Barry. That helped me a lot. They're holding these meetings a couple times a week where they're playing live music for the clients. And that's just, again, just an incredible thing for you to be able to watch from home. We use a lot of recovery trigger music and a lot of positive, uplifting music that can help keep them in a fresh mindset instead of feeling isolated and alone. Those are things that music always does. You know, being able to give me energy when I need it, to calm me down when I need it, to provide me reassurance when I need it. How I'm handling the stay at home order is taking it very seriously. My family and I stay at home unless we have to go out to get essential items. So I've been reading and doing a little bit of step work. I'm just checking in a lot more than normal to make sure that we're all still doing well, feeling well physically and emotionally. I've been just reaching out to, you know, my sponsees and any newcomer more often because I know this is a rough time. And for me, that's more rewarding than anything and it helps me stay sober. The best way that like I'm adapting to everything for my recovery is honestly staying in gratitude. I see a lot of people, you know, complaining that they're stuck home and 
they're out of work and like, yeah, it's scary times, but I've been through a lot worse than active addiction. But I'd rather be quarantined inside my home than being homeless on the streets again. You know, most of all, I think it's just important to stay connected. Coworkers, family members, friends. And generally speaking, I think that any song that we could listen to right now would bring us back to a place where we're not like locked down and in a pandemic which is probably pretty comforting. Surprisingly, the genre of music that has brought a lot of peace for me lately has been alternative. So more recently, I've actually been listening to a lot of classic rock. I would say that a song that's getting me through this time right now is September by Earth, Wind & Fire. It's super peppy and upbeat and just kind of makes you want to dance. Uh, I like to jam out to Kenny Chesney, Jason Aldean, putting on some meditation music and just kind of chilling. Post Malone, Hollywood's bleeding. He's my favorite. I think God music is really, that's my feel good. I mean, music is a mood changer. There is science behind it. There's no doubt about it. So it's really important to stay in tune with the types of music we're listening to right now, not to provoke anxiety, but to relieve anxiety. So whenever I get like in times of struggle where, you know, I'm somewhat anxious or, or sad or depressed, not only about the thousands of people that are dying right now, but also the higher relapse rates and, and people seeking treatment, I want to let people know that at Recovery Unplugged, you're not going through this alone, that we can help you in a safe environment and that we can use the music as a catalyst to help change your mood, to help motivate you.